بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو ایئر فاؤنڈیشن اسکول سسٹم دس از کلاس ایٹ فزکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ فائیو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ فائیو اینڈ دیٹ از گریویٹیشن فرسٹ آف آل وی ڈیفائن گریویٹیشن اینڈ وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ڈیفینیشن آف گریویٹیشن ایکچولی دا گریویٹیشن از universe there exists a force due to which every body of universe attract every other body in the universe is known as gravitation uh, the gravitation is discovered by isaac newton in 1665 a scientist named isaac newton then he was sit sitting uh, under a tree and solving some problem and he saw an apple from a tree fall down and this falling of apple triggered the idea of gravitation in his mind and he proposed a hypothesis that there exists a force at the center of the earth due to which earth attracts every other body toward its center from this idea he concluded that in universe there exists a force due to which every body of universe attract every other body in the universe. was and he called this force the force of gravitation and later on he proposed his famous law known as law of gravitation so let's see what is what says the law of gravitation law of gravitation says that every body in the universe attracts every other body in the universe with a force this law says that in universe two bodies attract each other with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers mathematically this law is f is equals to g m1 m2 divided by d square this is known as law of gravitation let's move towards the derivation of law of gravitation In order to derive this law, consider two bodies of masses M1 and M2. Here I shown you a two masses. Here M1 attract mass M2 with a force F, and M2 attracts M1 with a force minus F. The negative sign shows that the F1 minus F is opposite to the plus F. These two forces attract each other. These two bodies M1 and M2 attract each other. So according to law of gravitation, F is directly proportional to the product of these two masses. That is. F is directly proportional to m1 m2 and the second uh, part of this law says that f is directly proportional to 1 by d square this means that f is inversely proportional to d square directly proportion means when we increases Uh, this statement says that when the product of mass increases the force of gravitation also increases and the second part of this law that is f is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers it means that when the distance between the center is small the force of gravitation is greater when we combine these two parts we have f is directly proportional to m1 m2 divided by d square when we move the sign of proportionality we insert a constant here that is capital g so our formula will become f is equals to g m1 m2 over d square where g is the constant and is known as gravitational constant its value is same everywhere and in system international its value is 6.673 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square due to very small value of g the gravitational force between two objects on earth is not observable the objects around us we do not observe any force between two objects around us due to this is due to the very small value of G. This is our law of gravitation. Law of gravitation is also consistent with the Newton's third law of motion, as m1 attracts m2 with a force f, and m2 attracts m1 towards it with a force minus f. These two forces are equal and opposite. Uh, equal and opposite. If we consider the force exerted by m1 is an action, then the force exerted by m2 is the reaction of force m1. So that's why we can say that law of gravitation is consistent with the Newton's third law of motion. So this is our today's lecture. If you have any problem regarding the lecture, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you so much. Allah.